How's it going, everyone? I'm just talking. Dave, and welcome back to the Crooked Man. So, if you guys saw the last episode, what I'm assuming happened um, is that our main character that we were playing as, up until at least the end of the last episode, killed himself. Or at least was planning on it. If you don't know, if you don't know what I'm referring to, I do recommend checking out the rest of the playlist for this game. Um, otherwise, let's move forward. Damn it! David hasn't answered a single call. What is he up to, and where? Paul, what do we do? I knew we shouldn't have left David alone. Marion, get a hold of yourself. How can I be calm about this? David's so worn out from things with his mother and Shirley, he's even suffering over old wounds. I was always scared for him, scared that he'd do something that was no turning back from. I suggested moving to get his mind clear. That didn't help, now did it? It wasn't a bad idea, but it was a mistake for me to pick that place. Yeah, no kidding. Huh? Damn it. I'll call again. If he doesn't answer, we're calling the police. You're not answering. What do you mean? Why would the room be... Ugh. Don't tell me ghost stories at the time at a time like this. Always talking about how you see things and Well, someone or something answered, I'll say that. David? David, where are you? The abandoned hospital in Stafford. Well, why are you way over there? Listen. I'll find you, so wait for me. Don't so much as move a muscle. Don't come. Please don't. Leave me alone. Yeah. yeah, okay, so he's not dead, but I was right about one thing. He was planning on it. David? Hey, David! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, he's in Stopper. It'd probably take about a day to get there on my motorcycle. Marion, I'm going to get David. I I'm going with you. David is my friend too. I can't just ignore him at a time like this. All right, let's go. I'm assuming that's supposed to be the sound of his motorcycle. David's car. He's got to still be here. Come on, Marion. It's dark, so stay close behind me. Right. Is he still going to be where we last uh, played as him? The roof? Wait, was it the roof? Were those footsteps? They were from upstairs. That you, David? Who's there? What are you doing there? Wait, what? A, a girl? Hey, what are you doing in this whole place? Is that... Is that sissy? You hate sissies like me, don't you? Huh? Your friend is important to you, right? Hey, who the heck are you? What's this about? Go see him. Huh? Man, the hell was that? Um... Where 
Where is him? Okay, I'm gonna guess all the rooms that were locked before are still gonna be painted over like last time. It kinda seems like it. Then the only room is this one. Well, that one and this. Well, he's not in here. Wait. Hold on. Well, I guess I didn't need to go back in there. He wasn't in there either. Oh, dead cats. Dead animals. My god. Don't look, Marianne. It's not good for your health. I'm gonna guess she's she doesn't like seeing blood. I mean, seeing dead animals is horrible anyway, but if it's not good for her health, it's most likely because she can't see blood. It causes damage or something. Where is he? Is he gonna be on the roof? Yeah, I mean, I guess. If that's the case, though, someone else? David? That's not David. By the outline, I would guess that's D. Hey, who are you? This must be one of the last areas of the game. Or last scenes of the game, if not the last scene. Yo! The hell? What are you doing here all alone? Hey, he's your friend, right? Go on and save him. Tell him the truth. Wait, what? Huh? The truth? What? I'm counting on you. Wait a minute, what? Uh, what? Why are there so many people here? I don't get it. Let me guess. I'm gonna reach like the last little bit before like the staircase to get to David and the kid's gonna be there. And Fluffy's gonna be there, right? Yep. The kid? D don't tell me a kid's wandering here. Yep. Call it. He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked style. He brought he bought a crooked cat which caught a crooked mouse. And they all live together in a crooked house. In a crooked little house. Whatever. Hey kid, what are you doing? Hey, you listening to me? Then he had a crooked belt. Oh no. Then he had a crooked thought. Why is crookedness my life? Remember that poem I read on episode two? I think it was either two or three. Is he about to say that? Why is crookedness my lot? Why must I be crooked instead of being not? So the crooked man would cry and he couldn't fathom why. He was sad all the time and he sighed. So he... Mr. David's waiting for you. Go see him. Hey! What was with that kid? Why do you know David? Did he meet him? Forget about it. Let's go, Marion. Marion? Marion? What's up? I saw the shadow in her eyes and immediately thought something's wrong. Stop it. Are you teasing me? Don't you know this isn't the time for that? Huh? Marion? What do you mean teasing you? Just who do you keep talking to? She can't see them? Wait a minute, what? No, 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 enough of that. Stop trying to spook me. I know there wouldn't be anyone here. Just need to find David. No jokes. Uh oh. So that's it. 
Marion, go and leave the hospital. Sorry for uh, trying to spook you. Don't worry, I'll find David. Wait, I'm staying with you. After that? If anything happened to you, I'd be putting two family members in danger. Please, just trust me. All right, please, come back quickly. Right. Just wait for me, David. Okay, I'm assuming he's on the roof. If I'm right, then I need to save right now. Just in case it gives me multiple endings. David, what are you doing out there? Yep. He's out there. Oh boy. Hi. David. Paul? Why? Why are you here? Came to pick you up. I'll ask for a good explanation later. For now, you're coming home. Forget about me. Just leave me alone. Hey, Dave, stay away! David, you... I'm... I'm hopeless. Keep walking, but I see nothing. I'll never, ever be happy. I'm, I'm a crooked man, no matter what, that's what I'll be. And those are the only things I'll have. Don't do it. David? But what, what's that? Agony. Living is agony. Nothing will go how I want it. So, right here. Right now. David! Uh, I don't know which one's the right one, quite honestly. Punching him, I would guess, is the right one. Knowing horror games. I'm going to start with Persuade. Just go down the list. I know you've had it really rough. I'm your best bud, after all. I'm always trying to help you out. And it might be hard now, but tides can change. Good things can still happen. No, I know they will. Whatever happens, I'll help you. So, shut up! Nope, that wasn't the right one. No way. I kind of figured... Who do you think you are? You want to help me? You say good things will happen? They never have. All my hoping came to nothing. So I... D David! Stop! Don't say that! Who are you? Huh? I don't know you. And you couldn't know me. The only one who understood me was him. Is he possessed or something? D David? You're... The only time you'll ever understand is in your last moments. Out of my sight. Hypocrite. Yeah, that wasn't the right one. Okay. Oh boy. David. That 
Band 3. Goodbye, my friend. Well, that was wrong. <laughs> I didn't think that was going to be right. I still think that the only possible, like, the only answer that is going to end up being correct is going to be punching him. Maybe I'm wrong, but I knew Persuasion was. If, what since when in a horror game is Persuasion the right answer? I still don't like this. I'm never going to like this. And there's the crooked man himself. Take the gun. Why you? Why do you have a gun anyway? Give me that. Stop. Let go. Just leave me. Why do I get the feeling he's going to shoot me? Well, why do I get the feeling David is going to shoot Paul? Afraid I can't do that, David? Afraid I can't do that, David. You're my... Stop! <laughs> right? Yep. Huh? For what? How'd I know? How did I know punching him was going to be the right answer? Yeah, he's dead. Paul! D did I... Did I just... Shoot you? I... I didn't... It, it can't be... I... I really... C killed... No. David. Not... Fault. I tried to grab the gun. Big rule about when somebody has a weapon, especially a gun, never try to take it from them. Especially if it's locked and ready. Like, it, like, like a gun. If it's locked and ready, and they're like in this kind of mindset, don't ever try to take it. Even in real life. That's a stupid idea. It was all me. It's not... Your fault. David, you're not a bad guy. I'm sorry, Paul. Saw this coming. This is just sad. Achievement unlocked. Not your fault. Then great. Now I've seen basically all the ways you can die in this game. Well, almost all the ways, I think. I don't know. I, I feel like I may have missed something. That's the only reason why I'm saying that. Shut up. Open the door. Obviously. Wait, what happens if you don't open the door? I don't want to know. If it's another death, it's one I'm going to miss. Okay, shut up. I kind of figured from the beginning that punching him would be the best idea. I don't know why. How the... Does that even make sense in comparison to reality at all? I can't see that. David? You... I'm... Yeah, yeah, we've already read this. We've already read this. No! 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 Oh no, you, nope, nope, this ain't happening. Punch him. <laughs> I'm sorry, that shouldn't make me laugh, but... Ow! You damn monster! Get away from David. Hey! Ow! St stop! Ow! Yeah! Oh boy. That hurts! Stop, you moron! David, you're back with us? Don't say that like... Don't say that like I went nuts. 
I've been sane from the start. Like hell! If that's the kind of thing you do sane, I'll have to beat you up till you promise not to. Wait, do I not realize that I was about to... Was that not me at all? The whole time? Was that, was that not David at all? Was that the crooked man's influence taking over my body or something? What? Now, about this stuff you've been doing, you better tell me everything that happened. And believe you me, he'll, he'll believe you. Okay, goddamn, that was horrible. Hmm, Sissy, D, and Fluffy, and that crooked monster. Oh, so you believe in the monster? That's my occult fanatic. Well, you see, it's not exactly fan... Fan... It's, it's, uh, oh, for God. Fanaticism. Don't I always tell you that I see things? You and Marion never believe me. Sheesh. It's true. Anyway. About Sissy, D, and the kiddo. I think I met him. Huh? That's ridiculous. Fluffy, maybe, but Sissy and D wouldn't be here. Am I smoking, by the way? Is David smoking? Listen up, David. People's consciousnesses... Oh god, that word. <laughs> they sort of stick around in places. More of your occult shtick? I don't think so, but I think that- is that what it is? Are they all part of my conscience? Or maybe the, the crooked man? It either has to be the crooked man's conscience or mine. But whose? I legitimately don't know. You seriously making fun of the occult after this? Just listen, and no jokes. He has the right to say that, David. So you've had it pretty similar to the guy who used to live in your room, right? Shattered dreams, bad breakup, family trouble. When I first looked at the place, it was fine. Once he moved in, I had this strange feeling. From you, and from the room. What? I'd have to guess the guy's consciousness was a perfect match with you. Gotta be why you wanted to meet the guy or two. That would make sense. So you're saying he's calling me? Sorry for the pause. Yep. And you're unconsciously responded. Responding. Same difference. Some people are soft-hearted to the core. And always sympathize with others. It sucks sometimes, man. And they get taken advantage of. Yep. 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 Taken advantage of? Look, don't I barely. Don't I barely know the guy? You know a little from that stuff he left. And that was all stuff you could identify with. So, what would you think of a guy who's the spitting image of you? Would you hate him or like him? Okay, whatever he's gonna say, personally, if I met someone who's the spitting image of me, I'd love him. <laughs> Actually, in all honesty, that's my girlfriend. That's why I fell in love with her. Or at least one of the reasons why. <laughs> I don't know. I'm guessing both. Same as him. There wouldn't be much hate out of it. There'd be struggles, but not really hate. And that, again, that's real life me. And actually, there's been, like, like everybody in the world, there's always struggles between relationships, whether friends, acquaintances, family, it doesn't matter. There are always struggles, and this is something I'm going to talk about in, or I did talk about in a previous um, discussions and rants videos uh, of all of them that I've done. But anyway, think back. The crooked man tried to kill you, tried to drag you with him. But on the other hand, weren't there people who relied on you, who wanted your help? Uh, 
Oh, so it's the consciousness of the crooked man. The monster being the part that hates him, and then the other parts being the ones that actually doesn't. That's interesting. That's, that is really interesting symbolism. That is really cool symbolism if that's actually what's going on here. What? Those three were all part of this one person. Holy crap. He hated you, but he liked you. He thought he could share in suffering with you, so he was seeking your help. And that's why you met those people. That's what I'm thinking. Honestly, I'm not sure if it's right. I'm pretty sure it is. That would make this, that would change this story entirely and make it, <laughs> it's not quite right. He wasn't seeking my help. He, he helped me. Got me back on my feet. Again, that's you and him being similar. Hmm. What's up? There's something in my pocket. When did I pick this up? An address. I don't think it's that far. Again? When is this going to end? I'm going. I have to meet him. You could always not. What if something happens? I feel like if I don't go, the crooked man will follow me forever. So I'm going. David. You come back to us safe. I I don't want to go to my friend's funeral. Okay, I'm actually starting to tear up now. Stop. <laughs> yeah. I know. Thanks. <laughs> Stop that! <laughs> Scene 4, Central Hospital. Call. End. This feels like a rising climax, so I'm going to assume based, or th that felt like a climactic low light spot where it kind of hints at, hey, you're nearing the end. There's one more section or two at max, so I don't know. Maybe there's two more. At, the, at max it has to be two there can't be that much left anyway that one hit me hard this episode hit me hard <laughs> uh, but we'll save the next scene and probably final scene uh, for next time um, I'll look it up just to make sure so I'll probably know what to do if I'll definitely know what to do by the next one, just to kind of make things go smoothly. Because I more cur at this point, I'm more curious about the story than the puzzle solving parts of this. So, um, yeah, scene five will be saved for the next time. But for right now, I am going to leave this video here. So, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, push that like button. And so far, you can't see it anymore. If you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. Have any suggestions for any other horror games or RPGs that you'd like to see on this channel? Let me know in the comments below. Want to check out any others that I've done prior to this game? I'll have a link to one down over there. This game, however, will be across my head here. In the meantime, I'm out, but I'll see you guys later. Bye!